I just want to start this by saying, Sony, good job. Your decision to reverse the requirement was a fantastic decision. For those who don't know, and I'm sure you do, PlayStation was going to start a program where they would require people to log into a PSN account to play L Divers 2 because L Divers 2 is an online game. So they were going to require people to log into PSN account to do that. And the PC world went crazy. And since then, uh, PlayStation has decided to reverse their decision. So I'm going to start this by saying PlayStation, excellent job for realizing that people didn't want what you were giving them and reversing that decision because honestly, that was the right move. What you did was the correct move. L Divers 2 is a great game. Harrowhead made a great game. And there's no reason at all to punish yourselves or uh, or the company or uh, Arrowhead by sticking with the requirement. Just let it go and just move on. So great choice, letting that go. So, can we be for real though? Can we be for real though? Can we be for real and say that what we did to PlayStation and Arrowhead over a decision that every single company makes is a little bit unfair. Just a little bit unfair. Okay? Because here's the thing. This is PlayStation 5. This is Madden 24. This is an EA game. On a PlayStation system, to play this online, you have to log into EA to play this online. Okay. So again, mm, this is not a thing. People have been doing this. Sony did not invent this concept. Uh, I love this song. So let's be fair to Sony and say they were not doing anything that was unfair or new. Everyone does this. Ubisoft does this. Microsoft does this. All of PC is on a Microsoft system where they are collecting data on you every time you log on. So here's a question. When Sony decided to uh, to require a, requ uh, require a login to PSN, is this because you don't want Sony to collect your data? Or is this because you don't want Sony to invite you into their ecosystem? Let me put you on game. Okay, so I get it. I get it. You're mad about that. But can we say it was still a little bit unfair? So again, uh, Sony, PlayStation, good job reversing that. But I think we were just a little bit unfair. Just a little bit. The noise was just a little bit too much. Maybe it's because the whole Kendrick and Drake beef was going on. So people were just in a really beefy mood and we were just looking for a fight. Maybe that's what it was, but we were just a little bit unfair. Just a little bit unfair. Because the question is, are we saying that we don't want Sony to collect data on us on their own game? Because if that's the case, then you're going to have to ask, are we going to start saying this to every single company that no, we don't want to log into your particular network because we don't want you to collect data on us. The only people we want collecting data on us is Steam. We want them to collect data on us. Microsoft, we want them to collect data on us. Sony, no, we don't want you guys to collect data on us. If that, maybe that's what we're saying. Maybe that's what we're saying. And if that's what we're saying, then we need to be clear about that. That we're just saying specifically, Sony, we don't want you specifically to collect data on us. Because Activision Blizzard does all this. They collect a bunch of data and they use it to tailor their games to their audience as they choose. We're not throwing a fit about that though, but Sony does it and we throw a fit. So maybe we would just been a little bit unfair. Maybe. Maybe we would been just a little bit unfair. Okay. Uh. I am going to talk about Drake and Kendrick in another video, but so, so, so I would love people to let me know what the problem exactly was because when the whole thing first started, I didn't pay that much attention to it because I just thought, no, this is a little bit silly, right? Like it's not, I have never played a game that I have never had to log on to something. It's just weird that people made this a big deal. It's, I, 
I can I can pull stuff up where you have to log into some external uh the, the company's special logon stuff just to play their games. Or maybe it's that this not doesn't happen on Steam. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe Steam generally doesn't require that. Because now that I think about it, I don't know if Steam requires that ever. So maybe the problem was Sony was introducing a new concept to Steam. <laughs> that is such a great line. That is such a great line. Maybe that's what the problem was. Sony was requiring them to do something that Steam has never done before. Maybe that's why Steam took it so personally and decided to start refunding people, even though they've owned the game for, for over a month. Maybe that's what it was. Let me see if Steam collects... If Activision, now that I think about it, I don't think, I don't think I need to log into Activision Blizzard to play Call of Duty. I don't think so. That might be what it is. That might be what it is. And if that's the case, Steam needs to make that clear because I never knew that that was a thing about Steam. Never knew that. Uh, so for those who claim the refund. What happened, uh, DHDD? Uh, so uh, besides Kendrick and uh, Lamar, uh, Kendrick Lamar and Drake, we're gonna talk about that later. What we're talking about right now is the issue that happened with Sony. Uh, Hell Divers 2. Sony released a, uh, a note saying, starting as of like May something. No, I think it was June. They were going to start requiring people to log on to PS to their PSN account or to create a PSN account to play their PSN games online. And people didn't like that. And they started uh, uh, signing a petition and asking Steam to give them refunds. And then Steam started giving refunds, even though the game has been out for four months at this point, which is unprecedented. No one, Steam has never refunded anything like that before. So then PlayStation backtracked and they canceled the whole thing. So the game is won. Honestly, I think game was won. We won this one. We won this one. Personally, I didn't have any problems logging on because I own PlayStation. I'm part of the PSN ecosystem anyways. So maybe that's what it is. There are people who were not a part of the eco, uh, the, the PlayStation ecosystem, which probably means maybe people who have Xbox as well as PC, but not PlayStation or people who just have PC. Because if you own a PlayStation, then there was no way you were asking for a refund for this game. Because you already did that. We already do that anyways. We want Sony to move their ecosystem to PC. We want those two things to be linked. I want to be able to log on to my computer and go to something on PlayStation on my computer. I actually personally want that because I have a PlayStation. I love the PlayStation. Sony is a great gaming company. I want to be able to log, go open up my computer and go to a Sony specific PlayStation specific homepage. You said how you wish you could refund stuff. Well, yeah, you know. So, um, so yeah, it was a little shocking. It was a little shocking. You know. So what I was trying to show you guys earlier is that I don't think. He still re regret buying Demon Slayer. <laughs> I, don't, I can't help you with that one, man. Not on you, bud. I can't help you with that. Uh, uh, so, yeah, that's going to be... Um, I think I'm going to stop there because that, that's kind of what I'm curious about. I kind of just want to know what the problem was, really. And apparently... So, again... I'm going to end it by saying, Sony, PlayStation, good job reversing the, the ruling or whatever the decision, decision was. Good job uh, reversing that. That's good for the gamers. We won this round. Cool. Question is, what happens now going forward? Are we going to keep the same energy for every single gaming company? I'm okay if, if we're going to do that. That's really good. But we need to make that clear that that's what we're doing going forward. Going forward... You're not asking us to log on to your personal uh, homepage or whatever when I'm playing on Steam. And this needs to be something that Steam makes clear. Steam has to make this clear to Xbox, to Sony, 
to Ubisoft, to EA. We will not allow people to log into your network through our network. We just won't allow that for anyone because then it becomes a little bit unfair. <laughs> Yo, someone in chat just said it. Sony at least listened to their community, unlike Nintendo. We'll talk more about Nintendo later. That's that's gonna be for another topic. That's the question. I mean, Sony actually did listen. Let's be fair here. Sony did listen. <laughs> ah, so. So, uh, all right, we're, we're going to end there. We're going to end there.